Hello and welcome to season two of Summit Sessions Live. I'm your host, Anna Brown, and we are here inside Moore Hall Studios at Central Michigan University. This is a student-produced program that simulcasts live on MHTV and our YouTube Live channel. You can also hear us on 91.5 The Mountain later tonight. Our amazing audio mix is brought to you by CMU's very own More Media Records. Tonight we're going to be rocking with the band City Folk and then singer-songwriter Emily Rose. We also want to make sure we're asking the questions all of you want to hear. Tweet us any questions or comments you have at summit underscore sessions, or if you're watching on YouTube, leave us your thoughts down in the comment section below. We'll select a couple questions to ask each of our guests. Up first is a band from Mount Pleasant with a CMU connection. City Folk features Gunnar Benetham on drums, Jeff Patton on vocals and guitar, Curtis Young on bass, and Dylan Sterner on lead guitar. They are here now with their song, Long Walk Home. It's City Folk on Summit Sessions Live. Well, the snow is getting deeper beneath your feet. The snow is getting deeper beneath your feet. You're losing your head. It's just another band. You're not sure. It's too late to turn back. And your fingers are starting to turn black. And it's cold outside. It's a long walk home. Yeah, it's cold outside. It's a long walk home. You're not sure when you left, but the sun is going down. You're not sure when you left, but the sun is going down. The roads are disappearing And your mind starts fearing That lonely black night You're not sure where you are And you think that it can't be far But it's cold outside It's a long walk home Yeah, it's cold outside It's a long walk home you're starting to hear your blood get loud You think that God is gonna save you now That's more than faith will allow is coming up but your eyes are getting dark yeah the sun is coming up but your eyes are getting dark you wonder when someone will come along think that I won't be too long but you don't care cuz you're 20 miles from anywhere and you can't feel a thing anyway and it's cold outside it's a long walk home. Yeah, it's cold outside. It's a long walk home. Yeah, it's cold outside. It's a long walk home. Yeah, it's cold outside. It's a long walk home.
Thank you very much. We are city folk out of here in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Thanks for tuning in tonight. That was a piece called Long Walk Home. We'll tell you more about it later. We've got another one right now entitled Hilariously Tragic. Enjoy. I find life hilariously tragic, cold-hearted mathematic today. And I can't find anything that just proves such a scary thing, so I shut up. Yeah, I just shut it up. Sometimes I think it's such a shame that all I do is see the pain in us. You see that life is beautiful and I think you're delusional oh, 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 oh. But I can't help but to see it your way Cynical, I think a better word is pitiful, don't you agree? But the one thing that I know for sure I need to move a little bit more, oh, please stay with me. Oh, please stay with me. Cause I can't help but to see it go. So let's get to know you guys a little better. When did you guys start getting involved with music? I started in about fifth grade on the violin. I wasn't great at it, and I switched to guitar pretty quick and, and trumpet for a while. Uh, Dylan and Curtis have both been playing, I'm assuming since they were born, but maybe not quite that long. Oh, and I wanted to play drums when I was like eight years old, and so I asked my parents about getting me a drum set, and I asked my mom, I said, hey, can I play drums? And she said, well, I think you need to have rhythm to be a drummer, so I don't know if you can do that. And so I actually didn't start playing drums until I was 13. And how did you guys mom, all meet? by the way. Shout out to mom. Shout out. And how did you guys all meet? Uh, you want to take it or you want me? Oh, sure, I'll take it. Well, me and Jeff kind of formed the core of the group. We are both broadcast students here at Central Michigan, so we met in audio production class, actually probably a little over a year ago, and we decided, we hit it off pretty quick and decided that we wanted to start a band and we had similar taste in music. 
we put up flyers around campus and Dylan answered the call on that one. And uh, shortly thereafter, Curtis has joined us and he's been with us for a little over a month now. Flyers, a very old school form of communication you guys got going on. Oh it yeah. <laughs> it was very effective. And your name is pretty cool. How'd you guys come up with it? Oh, I get to tell that story too, huh? Um, well, the C City Folk was actually a snowboard film I was gonna make back when I was 14, 15 years old. And uh, it, it didn't work out, the video didn't work out, but I loved the name and it stuck in the back of my mind for a long time. And once I met Jeff and once we kind of figured out what our sound sounded like, we figured City Folk was kind of the best way to describe our band, so. It really is ideal. Got. When you think of a band like you guys, City Folk works perfectly. And where can we hear you guys outside of this live show? Uh, we've got an EP up online that we put out back in April of this year called Long Walk Home. You heard the title track of it at the start of our set. Uh, we've also, that, you can find that wherever you uh, stream music, Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, our website, cityfolkmi.com. You can find it there. Uh, we've also got some live shows coming up on Friday, next Friday, a week from today, we're playing at Rubble's Bar here in Mount Pleasant. Uh, from 10 to 2, I believe. And then the next day, we've got the Pleasant Town Music Festival here in Mount Pleasant as well. We're playing at 3 o'clock inside Centennial Hall. We're very excited about that one. We've got an acoustic show coming up on October 9th as well, again at Rebels Bar. So a little bit different for us, but we're looking forward to it. Plenty of ways to reach out and get to see you guys and listen to you guys. I love it. We've got more from City Folk coming to you on Summit Sessions Live. Our simulcast from CMU continues on MHTV and YouTube Live. And we're on 91.5 The Mountain beginning at 9 tonight. We're going to take a short break, but don't forget to send us your questions and comments for our musicians tonight on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions or leave a comment below on the YouTube Live stream. We'll be right back. I'll never forget the day our landlord called and said, read your lease. No pets allowed. My owner tells him my dog ate the lease, but that didn't work. And now I'm stuck in a shelter. But this pit bull is ready for a new crib. I'm loving, loyal, and play well with others. So don't be intimidated by all my muscles, because the biggest one I have is my heart. <laughs> That's right, I said it. I came from five generations of teachers. Losing my job was the bottom falling out of my world. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey. Why don't we go find out? Yes. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! I'm your host, Anna Brown. We're simulcasting live on MHTV and streaming on YouTube Live from right here in the School of Broadcast and Cinematic Arts at Central Michigan University. While you're watching and jamming to the show, don't forget to send us your comments and questions for the performers on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions, or if you're watching on YouTube Live, leave a comment below. Now, let's get back to the music. We have more from City Folk for you right now. This is Great Escape. Do you miss not me? 
much. That was Great Escape. It was the opening track to our EP Long Walk Home. And I mentioned earlier, out on streaming services everywhere. <laughs> We've got one more for you. Another one from the EP called Calm Me Down. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stick around uh, after us. Emily Rose is coming up. She's got some great music as well. So uh, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Working something out, having trouble figuring out what it is. The days seem longer and the nights seem colder. Well, maybe it's nothing at all. Some days I feel like smashing a hole through a wall somewhere, weeping by myself in my designer clothes. You know I'm only this way on the weekdays Come to think of it every day Somebody calm me down Thinking that 
thought the world a little too loud. He said, I know it's round. And that's something to keep me proud. Being proud, that's not my style. Who knows how to rile me up? But good luck, Chuck. Sometimes I really just don't give a damn. It's not that I don't care, it's just that I can't right now. If I stop and look around, I know what'll be found. Bodies and parties, carbon fumes, drugs and money, atomic fumes. A lack of faith, the buttons and guns, Twitter, boxes, Jesus, it's the run! Somebody calm me down, thinking that the world's a little too loud. We said I know it's round, that's something that keeps me proud. That was Call Me Down by the incredible City Folk. You're tuned in to Summit Sessions Live. Now we're going to ask all the questions that all of you at home have been dying to know. Aaron J from Facebook asks, what surprised you the most about being on live TV? Uh, I don't know. Random questions from the fans, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's going to come next. Yeah. Nope. I know it's a big production, but I guess I never realized just quite how many people went into putting on a TV show. But it's kind of it's really cool uh, seeing how it works. And Jackass from Facebook writes, "What venue would you most like to play in your career?" Uh, I guess I'd probably pick uh, maybe Red Rocks in Cal uh, Colorado. Goodness, Red Rocks Amphitheater, a really cool outdoor place. I'd, I'd love to play. Oh, I'd love to play at the Fillmore in Detroit. But at this point, honestly, I'm happy with anywhere that'll have us, so. <laughs> Both great suggestions, and we'd love to have you whenever you want to come. <laughs> Joe H. from Facebook writes, if you could learn one instrument, what would it be? Probably other than the one you already know. <laughs> yeah, I'd really like to learn how to play the guitar. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess I'd love to be a really good piano player. I know a, a, a little. A, v a very little, but I'd like to be really good. I'd love to learn the piano too, but my uh, my hidden interest would I'd love to learn the banjo Ooh. or the violin. Either way, both of them great. Thank you so much for being on the show. If you want to follow City Folk, you can find them on Facebook, City Folk MI, their website, CityFolkMI.com, and Instagram, CityFolk underscore Band. We'll be right back with music from Emily Rose, but first, let's take a look at what's going on in music news right now. Another season of Summit Sessions Live means another season of Music in the Mitten, your destination for all things local music. I'm your host for this season, Carrie Brewer. Tune in every episode to hear what's new with local artists, album releases, Michigan concerts, and more. 
Coming up on Saturday, September 29th is the first ever Pleasant Town Music and Arts Festival at Centennial Hall right here in Mount Pleasant. The point of the event is to bring attention to the booming local art and music scene. You can catch bands like Pineapple Psychology, Cosmic Knot, Big Sherb, and Chirp, all headlined by Broccoli Samurai. There's going to be indoor and outdoor stages in addition to live art and art vendors, food trucks, and even a silent disco. There are general admission and ultimate ticket packages, and the event is for ages 18 and up. Additional information on the Pleasant Town Music and Arts Festival can be found at eventbrite.com. One band you can catch at Pleasant Town Music and Arts Festival is punk folk rock group City Folk. Born right here in Mount Pleasant, City Folk spent the summer playing gigs after the release of their debut EP, Long Walk Home. In fact, their set in August at Rebels Bar went so well, they're returning on September 28th. According to their Facebook page, the gig is set to last from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Make sure to stop by Rebels next Friday if you want to catch City Folk in action. Detroit legend Eminem dropped a surprise album titled Kamikaze on August 31st. In it, he targeted a variety of celebrities, including Lil Yachty, Drake, Tyler the Creator, and most notably Machine Gun Kelly. Eminem took shots at the rapper for a 2012 tweet directed at Eminem's daughter. In typical rap battle style, Machine Gun Kelly fired back with his own diss track called Rap Devil, where he calls Eminem sober and bored and criticized his recent album performances. But the beef doesn't stop there. On September 14th, Eminem responded to Rap Devil with a diss track of his own called Kill Shot. In it, he mocks everything about Machine Gun Kelly, from his hair to his career to the fling he had with pop star Halsey. It looks like the madness won't end here because Machine Gun Kelly just announced a new EP that could potentially have another Eminem diss track on it. That's it for this episode's installment of Music in the Mitten. Come back next time for more Michigan music news here on Summit Sessions Live. We'll be right back. Leah, did you put a new dent in that? This one? No. Were you texting and driving again? Yes. Hi, Leah. Hi, Dad. Sorry about your bumper. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. He took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably going to turn down the radio, too, so you could focus, right? Probably OK isn't OK. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. 
and move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. back with more Summit Sessions Live. If you're just joining us, I'm your host, Anna Brown. We're simulcasting on MHTV and YouTube Live with a great radio replay on 91.5 The Mountain. And as always, our amazing audio mix is brought to you by More Media Records. I want to thank you for the great questions you sent in for City Folk, but don't stop there. We've got Emily Rose coming up, and we want to hear what you have to say. Send us those questions and comments on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions, and if you're watching on YouTube Live, leave us a comment below. Emily Rose is a singer-songwriter from Claire, Michigan, and she is here with us now. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hear what Emily Rose has in store for us. This is What Do You Say by Emily Rose right now on Summit Sessions Live. to say doesn't mean that I'm in love with you it needs to be said and you should know that I still care for you now that I am looking back it was all a little silly how about you and I start over hi my name's Emily hey what do you say even though you're not my baby after all that's happened it's probably best that way we could still be friends despite what trends have told just because the flame is out doesn't mean we have to be cold have to be cold oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. so maybe this idea is a little bit ironic but what's the hurt in remaking something that's strictly platonic we've seen the worst seen the best and everything in between i still kept your secrets and you know everything about me hey what do you say even though you're not my baby after all that's happened it's probably best that way we could still be friends despite what trends have told just because the flame is out doesn't mean we have to be cold, have to be cold. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, 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 have to be cold. I like the direction this is heading. It's like the good old days before we took a wrong turn and thought that we were soulmates. What's the point? After all of that to be enemies We could just be friends With unordinary memories Hey, what do you say? Even though you're not my baby After all that's happened It's probably best that way Say that we'll be friends Despite what trends have told Just because the flame is out Doesn't mean we have to be cold have to be cold. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Uh, this next one I wrote for a Christian fine arts competition a couple of years ago. And uh, I know it's not relatable to everyone, but I think it's one of the more witty ones that I've written, so I thought I'd share it with you. Don't have a crown, can't talk to animals. Haven't found Prince Charming yet, and I don't live in a castle. Can't say I've put a P underneath my bed. I don't live under the sea or in a tower in a faraway land. Well, my life isn't in a little storybook, at least one that you've ever heard. But there's someone who's still writing it down And I trust him cause he knows every word I've been
bitten a poison apple and given my voice away. Met some beasts and had some dragons to slay. Maybe it was magic, but I made it out alive. Or maybe it's because I'm the daughter of a king and his name is Jesus Christ. Now about Prince Charming, yeah, there's been a few, but none that got me out of my tower or return my little glass shoe. But I'm not relying, you see, I rescued myself. Cause you don't have to be a damsel in distress when you've got your father's help. And I don't really need a happily ever after. Cause I've got the one thing that really truly matters. I've bitten a poison apple and given my voice away. Met some beasts and had some dragons to slay. Maybe it was magic, but I made it out alive. Or maybe it's because I'm the daughter of a king and his name is Jesus Christ. Turn my summer to snow But my father melted my frozen heart And told me to let it go So that's my story I'm still finding out how it ends I may not look much like a princess But my father tells me that I am Some dragons to slay. Maybe it was magic, but I made it out alive. Or maybe it's because I'm the daughter of a king and his name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Thank you. That was Emily Rose with Daughter of the King. What a great song. Thanks. What age did you start playing guitar and ukulele? Uh, I picked up guitar around sixth grade and then ukulele like my junior year of high school. Which one was easier? Definitely the ukulele. Uh, only four strings. I was able to teach myself. So other, unlike the guitar, I had to get some lessons. So. And how long after that did you start performing? Uh, <laughs> I was pretty excited to know guitar, so I started right away. Um, and then I had song ideas for the ukulele, but um, those had to develop. So pretty much right after with both. So Awesome. And it sounds great so far. <laughs> Thank you. What is your process for writing music? Uh, usually I start with the first verse. Um, I'll, well, I'll think of a concept. Um, maybe it's something I'm going through or someone I'm close to is going through. And then I'll start with the first verse and um, feel it out. Um, sometimes the chorus comes first, uh, but it's, it depends. So I'll start from either the first verse or the chorus and then I'll build off of that. And who would you say is your biggest musical inspiration? Definitely John Bellion. He's got some, some nice sounds and his lyrics uh, are just as powerful. So I think one day when I have a full studio, I'd like to get a little more electronic, but for now we're gonna stick with acoustic. <laughs> John Bellion, I think I just met a new best friend. <laughs> and what is the best part about performing live? I think it's sharing something that you've made with other people and then seeing their reaction because it's, it's a really cool way to make a human connection with someone because you can write something that people can relate to or um, really like feel. And I think being able to uh, make those connections with others is a really magical thing that music can do. So It really does too. And do you have any advice for someone thinking about becoming a musician? Uh, I would say if you're gonna write music, 
Uh, just be honest, and that's how like the best songs are gonna come out. Because that's what people need to hear is honesty. Because you know they 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 could be going through the exact same thing that you are. So if you are open and vulnerable with yourself, then other people that like opens the door for them. So. I agree. And where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, probably playing at Madison Square Garden. Ooh, we've got a dreamer. <laughs> we've got high hopes in the room. Set your goals high, everyone. I love it. And what, I, I gotta ask, what song drives you crazy in the best way? Oh, wow. Um, like, crazy how? Like, it, like. Like, you, you want to hate it, but you know you just love it. <laughs> um, oh, what was that latest one with Zed? They played it over and over and over again on the Is radio. That middle one? Yes. 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 It's so catchy. Um, and you want to sing to it, but it's also so overplayed. So you're like, exactly. Argh. I agree completely. <laughs> we are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we will hear more from Emily Rose and take some questions from all of you at home. So send us your questions or comments for Emily Rose on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions. And if you're watching on YouTube, leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. Leah, did you put a new dent in that? This one? No. Were you texting and driving again? Yes. Hi, Leah. Hi, Dad. Sorry about your bumper. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water, too. That'll probably help. You were probably gonna turn down the radio too, so you could focus, right? Probably okay isn't okay. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. I got some Oxy after I hurt my neck. First I took them to feel better. Then I just kept taking them. I didn't know they'd be this addictive. I didn't know how far I'd go to get more. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth, spread the truth. test you, try to break your will, but however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control, stand firm, just wait, and move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive, never give up till they buckle up. I came from five generations of teachers. Losing my job was the bottom falling out of my world. Hey, Bobo, do 
trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! back with Summit Sessions Live on MHTV and streaming on YouTube from the School of Broadcast and Cinematic Arts at Central Michigan University. Coming up now, we have more music from Emily Rose, and after, we'll put her in the hot seat to answer your questions. We want to know what you want to know. Send us your thoughts, questions, and comments on Twitter at Summit underscore Sessions, and if you're watching on YouTube Live, let us know what's going on in the comment section below. Right now, let's sit back, relax, and let Emily Rose make some musical magic. All right, this one's called I Hope You Think. We're going to slow it down. I know it's been a while since we talked. go back and warn myself I would cause we were more fighting and hurting than good and I know I was the one who left you but you were the one who put the scars on my heart after all ready repeatedly break talking about and I hope you think before you break a promise before you lose your faith in God and I hope you think of all the memories we share I guess we just weren't meant to be but despite that sometimes you think of me It's a lesson 
to help us grow I hope you think before you lose your temper with her before you let her cry all night long I hope you think before you try to take it too far or cross the line that she's drawn I hope you think before letting all of this happen before you let it go on for too long Before she decides that she's worth more than that Leaves and writes you a song That was I Hope You Think. Uh, we're going to keep it slow with this next one called After Two. no stopping you, you've got a hold of my hand, whisper in my ear that I'm chasing down the wrong man, I can treat you better, I can give you the world, this is what he tells me while he's messing up my curls, whoa, whoa. distance myself from you, try to keep my eyes closed, out of sight, out of Though maybe if I just don't look, I won't be so tempted. Tomorrow, if I wake up, oh, will I regret it? Cause nothing good ever happens after 2 a.m. My judgment's getting faded, make the same mistakes again. All the rules get discarded, and I'm right back where I started. Trying to keep myself from falling for you. Love is dangerous after 2. After 2 a.m., my judgment's getting faded. Make the same mistakes again. All the rules get discarded, and I'm right back where I started. Trying to keep myself from falling for you. Your yeah, love is dangerous. Whoa. Thanks for listening, everyone. I've got one more. It's called Brave. And uh, yeah, I hope that you had a great time with us. Tell me all your secrets and tell me all your fears. Baby, you can trust me. To the birds sing, and we 
to do I don't really care where we are I just know I like being with you And we're both afraid To make the same mistakes To trust someone with our Cause it's been a while since we both know Thank you so much, Emily Rose, and also City Folk for coming out and performing with us tonight. That is all we have time for tonight. For Summit Sessions Live, I'm Anna Brown. Have a great night.